back of this year, our ability to to see change and transition as an invitation for growth and learning, um, that's what we did. And that's what we all stepped into and it was awesome. I really like the fact that we are innovative and we were willing to try things. We were willing to step out there and actually try to invent new things. Mm -hmm. We believe in discovery. And I, and I also appreciate the fact that we try very hard to work well with each other and to be kind to each other and supportive of each other. My biggest accomplishment is in July of 2023, we actually started the Muses Clinic or Muses program for minoritized youth. And so that is a program that we are building specifically for minoritized kids and adolescents and young adults. And what we're doing in that program is we're building modules that will actually teach them about discrimination and different types of discrimination, statistics around mental health and how discrimination impacts their mental health and tools for advocacy. I think what I would highlight is the great work that we're doing in the medical school, um, particularly to improve the experience for students mm -hmm. um, and the experience for faculty. As an SJV Prime student at UCSF, it makes me super happy to be able to have the opportunity to go back to my community, uh, work there one day, and throughout the Arise and the orientation that we had, it was a really great time. We were able to work with farm workers or work in like our community and do basic things as medical students, but it's been really fulfilling, so yeah. I think it's really continuing to be a part of the team that cares for what I consider to be the tiniest and most vulnerable patients um, that we have. and. To do it, I think, with such grace and such sense of community and solidarity. Um, here in the NICU, it very much feels like family. I am most proud of some work we did looking back at the REFLECT program, which is the residents and fellows leading interprofessional continuous improvement team. So basically, we support residents and fellows doing quality improvement systems improvement work that's aligned with the health system. And this year we did a retrospective looking back at the 13 years that we've been doing that and put together the data on over 300 resident and fellow led projects. Continuing to advocate for staff, that's one of the most important things to me and to work on faculty staff equity. I'm really increasing my knowledge around disability services, especially for employees and hoping that we can increase our recruitment of employees with disabilities as well as provide better support to those who are already here. So for me as junior faculty, it's actually been creating a group of sponsors and mentors as we shift towards intervening on disparities for prostate cancer, bladder cancer, all the cancers I treat. So it's exciting because we're moving in that active phase now with a group of people that are interested in moving beyond observation to action. Now we have a much broader set of activities that target people who don't necessarily think of themselves as educators but work with our students, residents and fellows nonetheless. And if they want to up their game as teacher or in giving feedback or in creating an inclusive uh, uh, learning environment but only have three minutes, we now have something for them. If they can um, spend an hour over Zoom, we have something for them. Uh, so we're really proud of that work. All of the science to follow I'm really excited about. Yeah. Trying to better understand how viruses uh, contribute to autoimmune disease and yeah. immune dysregulation and how it impacts the health of so many children I take care of in the uh, pediatric ICU. Yeah. Um, so continuing that work is really important to me. We created a staff development committee specifically for staff at ZSFG to bring them together and to um, teach them things that go on around ZSFG. I think, at least with starting school, my proudest thing I've done is really just make a new community here. I think with UCSF, my favorite thing is the students that are very thoughtful and passionate about what they um, think about and what they believe in. And I feel like I've been successful in finding folks that I can like grow with and, and really just trust. I have never seen a place like this with a learning community like this. And so it was my goal a couple of years ago to bring what we do to the national stage and make it be a template for other institutions to learn from, to use as at least a starting point where they might want to choose to do things the way we do. Because mm -hmm. I'm so proud of how we do things here. I'm really proud of the fact that UCSF continues to excel as a mm -hmm. place to work. Uh, yeah. it is, we have done a really good job trying to be an inclusive environment yeah. where people are treated with 
honesty and openness and respect and we respect differences. Yeah. We believe yeah. that differences matter and yeah. that, that we want to have people who come from different parts of the world yeah. who see things in a different way but can join together and make the whole greater than the individual exactly. parts. The people I work with, I'm a pediatrician in the Children's Health Center uh, and during COVID and in the wake of COVID, we've been so busy creating programs to support kids and the people that we work with have gone to bat for these kids over and over again, especially for some of the most vulnerable kids in San Francisco. It makes yeah. me very proud to come to work every day. It's really exciting when you see folks that have worked here as trainees, as fellows or residents, and then they come back as faculty, yeah. and then they, you know, pour back into these programs by leading these sessions. So it feels like we're building a coalition, a community that really believes in the mission that um, we have here at UCSF. Who did this? That's part of the well-being um, theme of the, the last retreat that mm. we had, and so uh, one of the uh, classes was uh, sculpting. What about you? What are you most proud of? Um, I think one thing that I'm really proud of is that we have, as a team, um, been able to develop career tracks for the administrators on the team, so they're able to kind of advance their skills and their jobs and bring more to the team, bring more to themselves, and then just as a result also directly impact like the training for the residents and fellows. I really felt a sense of community with them um, more than the previous years, and especially after COVID. So I really uh, and proud of that of yeah. where we've come. Coming out of the pandemic really gave me an opportunity to re-solidify strong partnerships that we already had. Mm -hmm. And what we were able to do was come together in person and the power of that coming together in person just like maximized our impact this year. There's quite a, a lot of uh, accomplishments last year, um, starting with recruiting uh, really great staff uh, who shared our mission of patient care, um, expanding health access, and reducing barriers to, to health equity. We have expanded how we recruit residents, our trainees. Uh, we are incorporating the patient voice in the recruitment and the selection. This year has been full of changes and continues to be. And uh, I will say that this team of professionals is always there to meet the changes. And they show up every day. They work incredibly hard. They are so committed to the program, to the residents, to the community that is served by the department, and I feel incredibly grateful. I'm excited about the fact that we will generate new knowledge that will help cure disease and make the place, make life for people better. And we are also spectacular at what I call desktop research, basically figuring out how communities work, what communities need, how to be supportive of communities. We do that well at UCSF as well. Movers and shakers, that's what you guys are. And you actually have the ability to do it. So that's why we're so thrilled that you're here. I think the best thing that's happened for our community collectively is that we've pulled together and moved into a new space that's absolutely beautiful and adjusted to try to get all of our individual workflows. And previously we had been siloed in different places and now we're having to work together and meld together as a unit. It's definitely nice to have um, a diverse group of departments working on the same floor and people um, every day get to meet new folks and um, share ideas together and how to make this a great place to work. As a faculty member, I think I'm extremely excited about finally witnessing the transformation of the Parnassus campus, seeing it with our own eyes, seeing the the campus transform is is incredibly exciting. It yeah. takes a lot of long time to get all these things done, but right. with the right focus and effort and with the outstanding people we have, um, we'll get it done. So yeah. thank you for your contributions to that. Of course. Yeah, and, it's a pleasure. and we'll be here to see it when it we'll, all rises. We'll, I will be here to see it. <laughs>